Hello everyone. Uh, in this lecture, we will discuss Lori method of protein estimation. This is also another very common method which is used in laboratory in order to quantify proteins in solution. And uh, this reaction, uh, this uh, method is basically extension of a biorate reaction. First, uh, protein is allowed to react with the alkaline copper sulfate. As a result, uh, cupric ion is converted into cuprous ion and that produce cuprous ion reduce a reagent called uh, folin cocl 2 reagent and uh, that form a complex which absorb at 750 nanometer wavelength. It is a very sensitive method. The sensitivity range, sensitivity means the minimum amount it can detect of protein. It ranges from 10 to 1000 microgram per ml concentration. The advantage of this method is its high sensitivity and precision. It's very, the value is very accurate what we get from Lori method. The disadvantage of this method is that it is not compatible with the detergent and reducing agent. If sample contain detergent like STS or any other detergent or any reducing uh, like beta mercaptoethanol or any other reducing agent is there in the sample, this method doesn't give accurate result. Same time if uh, you have a metal chelating agent like EDTA present in the sample that also give negative uh, effect on accuracy of this method and uh, moreover it takes much longer time than other methods generally it takes around one hour to calculate protein concentration from a given sample so under alkaline condition cupric ions chelated with peptide bonds of protein they result in reduction of cupric ion to cuprous ion and the cuprous ion can also be detected with the folin cocl 2 reagent which is basically phosphomolybdic and phosphotungastic acid and uh, the cuprous ion reduction of folin reagent produce a blue color complex that can be read at 655 to 750 nanometer so this is the principle of uh, folin lori method so there are two reactions, uh, two reactions in this method. In the first reaction, uh, Cu plus 2 react with the peptide bond form complex. As a result, Cu plus 1 is produced. Cu plus 2 is converted into Cu plus 1. And this Cu plus 1, again in the second reaction, uh, re uh, reduce folin reagent, which produces blue-green color. And this blue-green color absorb at 750 nanometer. For uh, reagent preparation, there are three solutions which are required to make uh, what you call Lowry solution. Solution uh, A, where we use uh, 0.143 normal NaOH and 0.135 normal sodium carbonate. This is solution A, and this calculation is for half liter, 500 ml. Then solution B. For 100 ml preparation, we need to have 0.57 molar copper sulfate pentahydrate. Solution C for 100 ml, 0.124 molar sodium tartrate dihydrate is used. And these three solutions A, B and C, they are mixed in the ratio of 100 is to 1 is to 1 volume by volume. And that gives rise to a Lowry solution. Then uh, we also need folin reagent which is ready made and uh, for this reaction we require one normal folin reagent generally is concentrated solution which is provided so that need to be diluted and dilution should be done at the time when it is required so it should be freshly diluted. Then we also need uh, a protein a standard protein like bovine serum albumin and uh, the concentration of a stock of BSA is taken as 100 mg per liter. So that's how dilutions are prepared. We, we have at least uh, six tubes. In first tube, we do not use uh, albumin. We use 0 ml of BSA and uh, 10 ml water. So total volume is 10 ml here for the sample. 
so the BSA concentration is 0 ml in first test tube which we call blank in second test tube we had 2 ml of BSA and 8 ml of water in order to have 10 ml final volume so the concentration of BSA would be 10 mg per liter and so on similarly we have up to 100 mg per liter BSA dilutions and same time we also take our unknown sample which we need to determine protein 0.5 ml sample and 9.5 ml water is added here then uh, these old test tubes they are incubated they are added 0.7 ml lowry reagent which we have just made and incubated in dark for 20 minutes at room temperature after incubating 20 minutes folin reagent 0.1 ml is added in each test tube including unknown sample and then again incubated at 30 minutes in dark so there are two incubations here that's why it takes longer time in comparison to other methods and after uh, 30 minute incubation their absorbance is measured at 750 nanometer for example we have got some value these are hypothetical values so these are uh, for example these are some values we have got for absorbance and here 1.1 is the value for unknown sample so we can make uh, we can plot a standard curve where on x axis we have bsa milligram per liter bsa concentration and on y axis we we plot absorbance which we have just observed at 750 nanometer so we get a straight line here then in the straight line we can use our uh, the absorbance of unknown sample to calculate concentration for example it was say 1.1 absorbance so 1.1 absorbance will correspond to around uh, 82 mg per liter protein concentration and this uh, value on x axis can be calculated from uh, the equation y is equal to mx plus c where y is the absorbance of unknown on y axis m is slope of the graph which is equal to uh, dy upon dx that is slope x is the value at x axis that what we need to calculate for a known sample c is the intercept on y axis so wherever the graph is touching to the y axis that is intercept c so from the value of uh, y m and c the value of x can be calculated for unknown which is for example we have got around say 282 uh, mg per liter so accordingly calculations can be made because we are getting 82 mg per liter and the total volume reaction volume was 10 ml so in 10 ml total protein would be 0.82 mg this is 82 mg per liter so 10 ml would have 0.82 mg protein and uh, we know that in a known sample we have used 0.5 ml only so 0.5 ml of a non which was diluted to 10 ml actually contained 0.82 mg protein so 0.5 ml of a known contained 0.82 mg protein so the concentration of this unknown would be into 2 because this is 4.5 ml for 1 ml it will be into 2 that is 1.64 mg per ml so that's how uh, concentration of a known sample can be calculated using this method